is the Caddy Beach, Volkswagen's answer to the new age combi. It's based off the Caddy Maxi trend line, which is usually a seven seater, but instead this beach was sent to Volkswagen's accessory lab to create the perfect mini camper. It's not the ultimate camper. It doesn't have a toilet, sink, stove or fridge, but it could be the perfect solution for anyone looking for a weekend getaway vehicle that doubles as a practical daily driver. On the outside, it still looks like a caddy, but the beach gets upgrades like bison on headlights with LED daytime running lights, 17 inch alloy wheels, black roof rails and tinted taillights. But the biggest change is on the inside. Volkswagen have removed the third row of seating and replaced it with this fold away bed. Right now it's in lounge mode, but if you fold both front seats forward and push the bed down, and you've got a flat bed to comfortably fit two people. Volkswagen has promised a limited supply of 120 camper vans to begin with, but says it'll introduce more if the model takes off. The Caddy Beach did start life as a van, so don't expect it to have the same kind of refined interior as you'd see in a Golf or a Tiguan. A 6.3 inch infotainment unit gives you radio, CD, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But what the Caddy does best is storage. There's some pretty good door pockets down here, quite a small centre console, some pretty good cup holders here and another little tray up the front here with a 12 volt plug in it. And then we've got a massive overhead tray up here which has a little ledge so things don't fall out. And another thing that's pretty cool is this rechargeable torch that sits in the little cigarette plug up here for when you get to the campsite and it's dark. There's also plenty of storage. These bags can be removable and they double as sun blockers. And there's curtains for the rest of the windows which are placed under the bed along with the bags for the other items like the tent, table and chairs. But this is where the real party begins. This fold away tent can be constructed in about five minutes. And you also get some tables and chairs to relax by the beach. Bring me my whiskey. Driving the Caddy Beach feels natural and effortless. Its 1.4 litre turbo petrol engine sends power exclusively to the front wheels, which some people find confusing given its name, but this van is for driving to the beach rather than on the beach. And it does that really well. There's a bit of lag during takeoffs and it's certainly not one of the quickest vans on the block, but you don't really need it to be. With 92 kilowatts of power and 220 newton metres of torque, it'll get the job done. It feels like a decent amount of power, but it could do with some more especially if you've got the van loaded up with camping gear or a full set of passengers. But what stands out most about the Caddy is just how easy it is to drive. The steering is super light and it kind of just feels like you're driving a regular car, which is nice. It doesn't feel like a van. For $46,990 plus on-road costs, the Caddy Beach is the cheapest factory fitted camper van you can buy today. It's easy to drive, easy to live with and practical enough for what most people will need.